Thank you so much ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. One big reason why we decided to move out to the countryside is to enjoy the freedom and privacy. Unfortunately, on the internet, it can be a lot more difficult to keep your internet activity private and your personal data safe. Luckily, ExpressVPN makes it a lot easier to stay safe on the internet. With just one click on your device, whether it's your phone or your laptop or iPad, you are protected. ExpressVPN encrypts 100% of your internet data and masks your IP address. That way it makes it more difficult for hackers and prying eyes to track your activity or steal your personal data to sell for profit. I also love that ExpressVPN can help keep my location private by spoofing my location to another area. That also allows me to access geo-restricted content on Netflix and other streaming sites. Recently, Marika and I have been binging Avatar The Last Airbender and Legend of Korra. Legend of Korra only has one season on Canadian Netflix, but by spoofing over to the UK Netflix, I have access to all four seasons. There are so many shows and movies that you are missing out on on these streaming websites because of geo restrictions. So go ahead and try ExpressVPN today to enjoy more privacy, safety, as well as no geo restrictions or censorship. Find out how you can get three months free by visiting expressvpn.com slash samitacoco or visiting the link in the description below. Welcome back everyone and welcome Maika to this new video. This is a very special video. I mean every video is special, but in this video we're doing a scalp check but with a twist. We're actually going to be checking to see if Maika has any ticks, tick 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 ticks in her hair. And this is for real because Mike and I and my parents moved to a beautiful 100 acre farm in eastern Ontario and where we live we have a lot of black legged ticks and I think about 40% of them or so carry Lyme disease so it's very important for us to be always checking for ticks all over the body so we've already done a body check and now we can do a scalp check and just so you know the most important parts to check in the body are any folds of skin so for example you have to make sure to check the ears around the neck area the underarms waist, the knees, between toes, between fingers, like these are areas where they might end up latching on, the belly button too, and various other places, and it's a good idea to just check every night before you go to bed because, well, we don't want them to carry Lyme disease and we don't want that transmitted to us, so. We're going to do a very thorough check of Micah's scalp, her hair, just your ears. And I'm also going to be applying some ointment to some mosquito bites. It's very buggy out here. We actually have to use a mosquito net over our bed and a bug zapper, all kinds of things. And we still get bitten, so I'll definitely 
hopefully be taking care of you. So I'm going to just start by lighting some candles, okay? We still want this to be sort of relaxing because it's, it's not, I mean, it seems serious, but honestly, it's, at the end of the day, it's not a big deal. As long as you keep doing those checks, you're going to be just fine, all right? start by clipping away some hair because I want to be able to check every section very thoroughly, okay? So I'm just going to be using this clip. This clip, clip, and I'm just going to clip back your hair, okay? And I just want to start Leave a small section of hair and clip the rest back. Just clip, 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 clip. Okay. Okay, here we go. Alright. Start just by combing this area. just grab my handy little knitting needles and I'm going to check this side, okay. And so we're looking for a tiny little black little bug. So we have different sizes of tags. Adults would be about the size of a sesame seed and nymphs will be about the size of a poppy seed. But if it has been latched on for some time, it can be as big as the size of a grape. That's very noticeable. Everyone will notice that. But hopefully, since we've been doing regular checks, we can find everything in its early stages. And if it's in its early stages, it's very little chance of transmitting the actual bacteria. Okay, you alright? I'm also looking for any signs of rashes because rashes can be um, the after effect of a lime, of a tick bite. So the rashes can be pretty much any, any shape or size. The textbook one is what we call an erythema migrans, which is kind of like a bullseye shape, but to be honest, those are far and few between. There can be all kinds of shapes. It can even just look like a very, very simple rash without any really distinct pattern. 
But if we see any redness in my like, scalp, then my point is to something. A little bit ticklish. Mike is very tired. We ended up adopting a beautiful puppy. Her name is Maple. And she's been keeping us up at night. It's been very hard to film with her. Just she wants to play. And she naps a lot, but for short periods of time, then she's up and ready to play again. Right now, my sister is babysitting, so perfect chance to do this little scalp check. Okay, all right. Don't see anything there, but I have to just resection out your hair, okay? I don't see any redness, I don't see any little ticks, it's very good. Resection the hair there. I'm just going to clip again. Clip it. Clip back. Clip that back. There we go. Alright. So let's take a closer look here. seeds or poppy seeds. It's harder to notice a poppy seed, but right now all I see is just the root of the hair. No danger. Um, there's a little bit, but not too much. Yes. Definitely better than before, so. Yes. I think because you haven't been washing your hair as often, that actually has been helping to keep your scalp hydrated. Also, a few Yeah, thanks for all the tips that everyone's been suggesting from the last video. Okay, so far. It's gonna look closer here. Give me a second, I'm gonna grab a light so that I can see the back part more closely. So just grab this little light. Hope it's working, yep, it's working. Okay, just helps me get a bit of a closer look here. Oh, the battery's kind of low, but.
just going to use a few bobby pins So we're working on a small section of hair right there. Just a small section of hair right here. Perfect. Okay. Let's take a look here. Let's take a look here. a little mosquito bite so I'm just going to apply some of this ointment it has a lot of essential oils and pine tar which I find really helps to relieve itching Now we can work on this side. Good. Okay. How about you turn this wheel off? Just like that. Good. Okay. spots here
Looks like Maple's on her way. Just going to bobby pin a bit more on this side. Just bobby pinning everything. Such a silly hairstyle. Would you ever wear this out? Do you want to turn around? I can laugh this look. <laughs> gonna say put the scalp yeah looks yes. great I just wanted to mention to everyone watching oftentimes ticks are found in wooded areas and in tall grass meadow bush kind of thing so and we have a lot of that around here Monica was working around in the grass um, earlier today and I was roaming around the woods too so you should probably check me as well. Uh, but yeah, the, the woods and the meadows, the creek in the back, it's just so beautiful. It's amazing. I can't believe that we live here. It's just such a dream come true. I'm so happy. Are you happy? Very happy. Very happy. Very happy. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of chores. Now we have two chickens, and we're planning on getting ten more very soon, so... And we're also renovating and setting up yurts and doing all kinds of things, composting, trying to garden, so it's just a lot, but it's what we love, so... Alright, so finally I'm just gonna check the top, the vertex right here final spot and we're good all clear for ticks awesome thank you you're so welcome i do want to check your ears a little bit Definitely another time. I do want to give you a little bit of a scalp massage. Is that okay? Right. Let's take all of these little clippies and pins off, Micah. Sleep opportunity. Yes, very much so. everything. Oh, no, there's more here. One and two. Okay. And now I wanted to put a few drops of this hair oil that I really like that actually helps to ward off dandruff. I know you've been doing really good, but we can add a little bit if you like. is called Hair Envy and it has avocado oil, castor oil, it also helps with hair growth, organic argan oil, organic jojoba oil, amla oil, lavender, eucalyptus, rosemary, lemongrass, tea tree, juniper, Spanish sage, cedarwood, thyme and dream. It's a lot of ingredients but it is 
quite effective for itchy scalp, I find, and for nourishing the scalp, as well as hair growth because of all of the essential oils and castor oil. this while you're working then just stay focused. I used to do that. You do? Like my videos? Yeah. Oh. It's cute. Which one did you used to watch? All of them. All of them. even ward away the ticks. Who knows? I've heard that lemongrass can be effective, but don't take my word on it. And your better bet is actually using um, a dedicated tick repellent like Deed. I don't love Deed, but sometimes it's necessary. And a garden. But I've heard that lemongrass has some efficacy as well, but for sure the best way is to do your take checks every day. It can be quite relaxing too, it's kind of like Massage your neck and your shoulders, help you relax, get ready for bed, just relax your shoulders. There you go. Good. I'll just do it gently, how's that? is ready to go to bed and hope you all are too. Take care everyone. Good night. Give me kisses. Love you all. See you in the next video. Bye. Good night.